Hey, I thought I'd show a little bit more of the game, so I'm going to go through two levels of the campaign with Kamaitachi. Uh, I thought I'd warn people that uh, before I get into the unlockables, that the final boss is uh, very difficult with Kamaitachi because they made the hurt box where Bangalore's cockpit is a lot smaller. Uh, in the original game, it was pretty big. Here, it's very difficult for him to hit the cockpit because he has to do a back combo throw from maybe like two or three character lengths away from uh, Banglar's cockpit, which is pretty difficult to position. Uh, I had a very difficult time with it. Uh, it definitely still feels luck-based, kind of like it was in the original. However, uh, Yaksha, the new character, uh, she can just stand directly under him and do her down throw, so <laughs> she probably has the easiest time with that boss. So if you're going for a 1cc attempt, uh, you may not want to play as Kamaitachi because uh, everything else was fine. Uh, I definitely had a rough start with this game. Uh, I, I wanted to apologize for that. Um, I, I do have uh, a low frustration threshold, both due to my my personal life, my mental illness and things. I also got like barely any sleep last night. But after I calmed down and relaxed, uh, I definitely enjoyed the game. It seems like a, a combo system definitely does help give it a new dynamic. You, know, you can't do infinites or anything. It seems like it's kind of like a fighting game where certain moves have certain juggle points. And uh, once you use up those points, then the enemy will just not take any more damage. So it's kind of like finding a it's probably most common to a modern like non versus Capcom game. You know how like Street Fighter 4 and 5 have the same juggle point limiter system. That's very much how it works here. So I found some of the optimized combos for Kamaitachi. I'm still working on Yaksha. I haven't even touched Ninja and uh, Kunoichi yet. So with that said, uh, I did unlock a few things. Unlock Yaksha, obviously. Uh, you can also get the original arcade version. Uh, you may not know, but there was an arcade game before the SNES game, and it has a very uh, widely regarded soundtrack, so you can change to that. However, that game only had like five or six levels, and it only had like five songs, so they will repeat. There are no boss themes or anything, but it's definitely a nice little touch that they threw that in. And then uh, once I finish the game with Yaksha, I'll get the SNES soundtrack. Uh, I actually thought the remixes were pretty good. Uh, I don't think they're as catchy as the original. I think the original has that that right balance, uh, that perfect balance of like uh, you know retro sounding and just a generally good composition. But you can choose whichever one you want, so it doesn't matter. So let's go with the arcade for now to show off the unlockables. Now, one of the biggest complaints, uh, the couple people that have been playing this, uh, there was someone else who was streaming it shortly after I did, uh, is that there are a lot of unlisted moves in here. And uh, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> it doesn't seem like they need to be concealing anything from people. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, Yaksha, uh, her up kicks on the throw, like that is not demonstrated at all in the uh, in the move list here. She has like I think a couple other moves that she can do as well, and they don't demonstrate them here. So it's it's kind of awkward. Uh, probably once people figure out what the unlisted moves are, maybe I'll make like a move set video or something. Uh, another good example is Ninja. Uh, he has like a uh, like a, a drop kick elbow type thing, and uh, no one really knows how to do it. Uh, it was shown in the trailers, but there's no demonstration for it here. So uh, I probably won't be playing him until uh, we figure out how to do that. I'm not really sure why it's not mentioned here. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to read in this game in the first place. It has like, it has like maybe three or four paragraphs of text in total, not counting the manual. So maybe that's something they'll patch in later. Uh, the game is in full English, so uh, if your Switch is set to the English language, it will automatically just boot up that way. So the only real reason to wait for the English release is uh, if you want it physically. Uh, Play Asia is selling the game physically, but you know how they are. Uh, if you live outside of Asia, then you're going to be paying at least $20 for decent shipping with a tracking number and everything. Uh, I was initially going to get this from Play Asia, but I decided to cancel it. And just get it digitally so that I could get the content out for you guys sooner. Uh, the US version is going to be coming out on August 30th. And that will be available physically. So I think it's only going to be $30. So I think that's definitely a pretty good price for this game. They definitely did add a, a lot of substantial new content. Both in terms of the movesets, the music, and the two new characters. Now I don't have him unlocked yet. Uh, apparently he has some some uh, like unlisted moves too. Yeah, he doesn't really seem like my kind of character, but I'll try to get out some footage for him when I can. Anyway, just thought I'd give some <laughs> warnings there. There's more to this game than what the manual shows, basically.
I will say the worst, the worst two things about this, uh, this version of the game is the big guys, how, how little of the mechanics work on them, and uh, the final boss fight. But that seems to be mostly just a bad matchup, Kamaitachi. I think the way they could fix that is maybe make the uh, the hurt box on his cockpit a little bigger. It seems like it's only directly in the center, like where he's sitting, which is very odd because you'll visually see the. Uh, you visually see the attack hit him, but it doesn't count. So I'll try to land an optimized combo here. What's nice about this game is they did not make it longer. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of beat 'em ups like modern remakes of like classic games like this. They make things like really long to try to facilitate, you know, charging. Pretty unacceptable price for the average gamer. So I was pleasantly surprised that this game is pretty much the same length as the last one. There we go. So there's like a juggle point on on that move, and then landing, and then doing the uh, the down jump kick. This was definitely my favorite character growing up. Uh, I played this game a lot as a kid. That grabs like feels like it's unreactable. <laughs> I had such a hard time with that boss when I was playing and I was getting frustrated and I wanted to apologize for that. But at the same time, it definitely feels a little off that like a lot of the mechanics just straight up don't work on that boss. I was hoping that there was something that they would uh, address, but unfortunately he, he can't like really be staggered consistently. He also can't grab him, so Yaksha has a pretty bad matchup against that, that boss. Which is bad because on um, level 6 you have to fight two of them at once. I mean, it's not the first time that a uh, beat em up has had like really bad matchups with certain characters. It's not like it's a brand new concept or anything, but. Definitely feels a little frustrating when your favorite character has a really hard time with the final boss because he can't throw him at a good angle.
So the problem with the shuriken move is that it really doesn't hit anything like directly at a horizontal angle. So the best use for that move is to try to group up a bunch of enemies that can be thrown. And then do it immediately after that. Ah, I messed up there, but that was a good example. There we go. I'm glad they took the opportunity to uh, add new moves since they had to redraw everything. They could have easily just left the game as it was, but they did change some things for the better. I definitely disagree with the final boss being uh, even more luck-based and frustrating gimmicky. But they did add a time attack mode, so if you don't really care about 1ccs and stuff, you can always just go for getting a good clear online leaderboard, so I think that's a nice feature. Kamaitachi, for instance, I, I've always loved this character since I was a little kid, but they definitely made uh, him have a lot harder time on the, the last level of the final boss. <laughs> I might just do some uh, time attack attempts with him once I figure out his optimal combos. I think I figured out the optimal one, but I'm not entirely sure. They definitely made his combo finisher the little spinny thing. They made that uh, a lot slower. Pretty easy to abuse in the original from what I remember. Nice, no damage. <laughs> So 
So let's go ahead and uh, check the leaderboard, see what kinds of times people are getting. I checked this morning, there weren't that many people playing, but there's probably more now. Only three people. Actually, there's more people than this, but these are 1ccs. Uh, basically, when you continue, it, it takes away your ranking completely. So the only way to get on the ranking is a 1cc, which I think is kind of a bad idea because it's going to make it look like there's no competition and nobody bought the game. Normally, you can get a pretty decent metric of how many people bought uh, you know, a niche game like this by how many people are on the leaderboards. But since it only counts with the 1cc, you're really only going to get the... Uh, the elite on here so it feels kind of off it feels like you know you could still get a pretty good time with one or two continues depending on where you die like if you die on the final boss then you'd probably only lose like maybe two or three minutes if you killed them on the second try but on some of the other bosses you have to go through the whole last screen transition again so that does feel a little bit off so ninja's at the top and yaksha's about one second behind Ah, oh, cool. I'm number eight with Yaksha. Seems like Yaksha is a pretty popular character. <laughs> I got banned, temporarily banned for uh, excessive looking at the leaderboard. That's very odd when there's only like 10 unique people on there. <laughs> I don't quite understand what that's for. Maybe their server is like some random like Pentium 90 or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to be it for now. Uh, my friend needs to borrow my capture card to stream an event again today. So uh, I will not be able to do anything with this until I come back. But I, I think I covered all the bases at this point. Um, if I find a consistent way to once you see with Kamaitachi or Yaksha... Uh, that's probably what I'll look into. Uh, the only real bad matchups for both of them is the for Kamaitachi and Yaksha. It's the big Arnold robot guys on level one and level six, and then it's the final boss for Kamaitachi. But the rest of them, rest of the bosses, I didn't have too much problems with. Once you know, I remember to block and counter and punish and things like that. That part of this is really fun, especially now that there's like a limited uh, combo and juggle system. So you get that satisfaction of a big punish that you don't normally find in you know, older type games like this. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.